Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's performance of Suffocating. Please note that there is no eating, drinking or flash photography in the theatre. And can you please... <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's performance of Suffocating. Please note that there is no eating, drinking or flash photography in the theatre. And can you please ensure all mobile phones are switched off. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Everything's going to be alright. 
You won't hurt you, I promise. Just be a good girl. Promise me you'll be a good girl. Just do as you told and Mummy will come back and get you soon. I, I didn't know what she meant. I didn't understand. Her, her face was growing red and her hands were shaking. I wanted to know what she meant. I wanted to talk to her. And then I saw him coming over. He was a lot taller and scarier up close. I moved away from him and I hid behind my mum, hoping that she'd make him go away. I was 16 when I got pregnant with Lottie. It was so daft. One of those things that you live to regret but not until a few months after. I didn't even like him that much. It was just a fling, you know, one night stand even. I suppose I deserved it in the end. I, it wasn't until after I found out that I even thought of him again. I was so scared about what would happen to me. I mean, you hear all the time, don't you? Young girl gets pregnant, loses everything, no friends, no family, then she's found in a skip three weeks later. I didn't want that to happen to me. But my nan was really understanding about it. I'd lived with her all my life. I never knew my mum. I suppose it made it easier giving her up. She never really felt that close to me. I was six months pregnant when I met him in the queue at Asda. Didn't really seem that much. Nice suit, friendly smile, lovely eyes. I remember, as I was leaving, I saw him waiting for me by the door. And as he approached him, he gave me this really cheesy grin and said, Do you shop here often? I felt so <laughs> sorry for him, especially with a laugh like that. So, when he asked me out to dinner, I couldn't help but say yes. Then, the next few months just seemed to whiz by in a dream. He took me out to dinner at fancy restaurants, sometimes even dancing till dawn, and other times we'd just sit on the sofa at his place, talking. It was such a relief just to have someone to listen and understand. I was eight months pregnant when we moved in together, and this flat was like a dream, a dream I never wanted to wake up from. Then, Lottie was born on the 16th of January, and he was great. He even set me up with my own job, and for the first time in my life, I felt really settled, safe, home. Then, slowly, as the weeks moved on, things changed. I mean, it wasn't that I didn't care about Lottie, I did. It's just after she was born, the glitz and glamour just seemed to stop. No more going out, no more weekends away, no more friends. Sitting in that fucking flat all day, working in a stuffy sweaty bar half the night, then handling a screaming baby on top of all that. I wasn't supposed to get that bad. He said he knew this guy who could get some decent gear on the cheap, so I thought, why not? It was just one time. But it was never just once. It was times when I didn't want to go back to that flat and face those four walls. Demanding things, asking for money that I didn't have, and if I couldn't get it to me, take it some other way. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're thinking. Some junkie who couldn't get a next time so she opens the door on a plane. Well, it wasn't like that. You weren't there. You don't know what he was like. What he was capable of. What he could have done. I'm running out of patience, Nikki. I've given you your chances. You know Please, she's my only child. You can't take her from me. I've given you your chances. But. Had a deal. But. I need her. I love her. That. Never seen the bother you before. But. I'm a mother! Basically, so there's a lot of 
have taken her off a few months ago. I don't know. I Think about it though, all the time. 